There are around 600 cryptocurrency exchanges worldwide and some offer cheapest trades whereas others offers more coins to trade. And to make use of these benefits, sometimes you may have to transfer coins from one exchange to another. Moving your crypto between Binance and Coinbase is easy and can be done in a few simple steps. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. So let's get started. To make it short, I'm going to assume that you're already done with the registration process and you got a Binance and a Coinbase account. Transferring crypto between any two platforms involves just three steps. First, initiate a transfer from the exchange from where you want to send the crypto. Second, get the address of the recipient wallet from the exchange you want to transfer to. And then just provide this address in the initial exchange and then click send. That's it. You will soon get the network confirmation and then the crypto will be available in your account. First, I'll show how it's done on the website and then later with the app. I'll be using Bitcoin as an example, but the process is similar for any other crypto. So once you're logged in into the Coinbase account, you'll be taken to the assets page where you can see all your coins. Now initiate a transfer by clicking either the pay button on the left side or the send receive button on the top right side. This will take you to the transfer page. And once you are here, you have to specify the amount you want to transfer. And specifying the amount can be done in your fiat currency or crypto by toggling this button. Now select the coin which you want to transfer from the drop down list and then enter the amount which you want to transfer. Now to complete the transaction, you have to select the recipient wallet address from Binance. To do that, go to the Binance website and go to the Fiat and Sport page where you can see all your crypto assets. Now click on the deposit button on the top or go to the currency directly and click on the corresponding deposit button. Now comes the critical part. You have to select the network through which the transaction happens. Just don't go and select one option because it's the cheapest. If you select an incompatible or different deposit networks, you will lose your funds. For Bitcoin, it's the BTC network. Once you select the corresponding network, you will be shown a wallet address to which you can send your coins. Now copy this address. Come back to Coinbase and paste the address in the corresponding field. When you click continue, you will see a summary of the transfer, including the approximate time required to complete the transaction, the Coinbase fee and the network fee. Coinbase fee is the fee taken by Coinbase to make this transaction and it's usually zero. The network fee is the money paid to the miners to validate and add the transaction to the blockchain. This could vary according to the traffic in the network and the time you are doing the transfer. Now click on send now. Coinbase will send a code to your phone to complete the two-factor authentication. You can enter the code from the SMS to complete the transaction and receive the crypto in your Binance wallet. And to do this in the app, the procedure is largely similar. The website do provide more options, but I find the app's user interface more easy and simple. Open the Coinbase app from your phone and then click on the send button to initiate a transfer. Now select the coin and the amount you want to transfer. Then click on continue. The next step is to get the recipient's wallet address. Open your Binance app from your phone. This is the light version and is enough for almost all the basic functions, but you also have the option to go for the advanced version. Click on the wallet tab and select the deposit option. Now select the crypto you want to receive. After this, we have to choose the appropriate network. You will be shown a wallet address to which you can send your coins to. Copy this address. Now come back to the Coinbase app and paste the address in the corresponding field. Click continue and you will see a summary of the transfer. Now click on send to complete the transfer. The procedure is similar but reversed if you want to transfer from Binance to Coinbase. Once you are logged in into the Binance account, go to the Fiat and Sport section in your wallet. Now initiate a transfer by clicking on the withdraw button on the top or go to the currency directly and click on the corresponding withdraw button. Either way, you will reach the crypto withdrawal page where you will have again the option to select the coin. Once this is done, the next step is to provide the address of the receiving wallet. So to do that, go to the Coinbase website and click on the send receive button on the top to open the transfer window. Now go to the receive tab instead of the send tab. Then select the coin you want to receive and then copy the address. Now get back to the Binance website and paste the address in the address field. Binance will automatically select the corresponding network to carry out the transfer. Now enter the amount and click withdraw to complete the transaction and receive crypto in your Coinbase account. Open your Binance app from your phone. Go to the wallet tab and click on the withdrawal button. Now select the crypto you want to send. The next step is to get the recipient's wallet address. So for that, open the Coinbase app and click on the three dots on the top to show additional options and click on the receive button. Now select the coin you want to receive and copy the shown address. Go back to the Binance app and paste the address in the address field. 
Now enter the amount and click withdraw to complete the transaction and receive crypto in your Coinbase account. It could take somewhere from a few seconds to few minutes to register the transaction on the blockchain and the funds to be credited in your receiving exchange. And this time varies depending on the network and the current traffic. If you want to reduce the transfer time and escape the enormous fees associated with some tokens, you can watch this video where I reveal a little secret on how to transfer the asset using an intermediary coin. And if you still don't have a Binance or a Coinbase account, please use the link in the description below to open one. We both will get a commission and you will also be supporting the channel to create more valuable videos like this. Until I see you in another video, relax and enjoy the ride.